Hello guys, today you will learn how to create product visualization like this, then we create post-production in Photoshop, and final step will be creating the animation. If you want to support me guys, hit the like button or subscribe button, and if you want to support me a little bit more and you want this 3D model, you can go to my Patreon page. All right guys, now let's start this lesson. First step is to import our 3D object or 3D model. It doesn't really matter right now if you're going to click on import button or open button. I'm just going to hit open and I am going to open this high poly model. Just click on the import button. Now this will take a little bit time to load 3D model depending on the quality and complexity of the scene or 3D model. Okay, this is how looks our 3D model without any kind of shaders or materials on it. So pretty basic 3D model in high quality. So first step is to scale our scale our object. I'm going to scale it to double size, snap the ground and the center. I am going to move this object a little bit higher. Something to like something to like this is good this and I'm going to bring this model a little bit more forward. All right, and I am going to rotate this object to negative n. Okay, maybe a little bit down. Okay, a little bit forward, backward, something to like, something to like this. This is good. All right, and we need to set up our camera. So we'll go to the camera tab and I'm going to create the new camera. It will be front view camera. I'm going to turn on this grid for now to make sure it's in the middle. And I'm going for 45 focal length. You can see what's going on when I'm changing it. This is like more orthographic and this is like more in perspective. So 45, this is good. And I'm going to make this a little bit more interesting. So something like 65 will be the distance. Azimuth 90, that's good. Inclination will be negative 18. So we got that hero look or hero effect. And I'm going to bring this object a little bit, a little bit more up. Okay, this is really good. I am going to save this and I'm going to load the camera and I'm going to click on free camera and I'm going to turn off the grid. Now, when you, when you move around like this and you click on the camera, you got it saved. So you don't need to set up the camera twice. I'm going to the lightning tab and I'm going to make sure I'm in basic mode. So my preview is a little bit more responsive, a little bit more faster. All right, that's good. I'm going to free camera and I'm going to apply hard rough plastic material on whole object. So hard rough material and this is like my starting point. I am going to create the brand new lighting for this. So camera one, and I'm going to the environment tab, and I'm going to click on new environment. I'm going to the settings, and I'm going to change this to completely white background, and I'm going to click on HDRI editor. I'm going to for, for the highest resolution, and this will be black. So no lights in the scene. So first light will be coming from the top to the bottom. 
I'm trying to show you the reference image. This is the reference image. We are going to create similar, similar final render, and this is just this is just the reference how the lightnings work. We need to create the lightning which goes from top to down, main main light. We need lighting for this part and also this part and we need some kind of light for this bottom part so create click on uh, click on this it's add a new pin or create a new light click on this and click on this part on the controller so it will point the light on the top part and i am going to make this light a little bit smaller I'm going to make the intensity or brightness a little bit higher. And I am going to make this light with soft edges. You can see this is the soft edges, but this is too much. I am going for 0 0.25. Okay, that's good. And this is this is the controlling for, for the light. For example, if I move the light right here, you can see I am changing light position left and right and this is up and down so i want this light to be middle and up so this will be zero and this will be something to like this okay that's good you can you can start to see how it looks just with one light it already looks good so we are going to create the another light to make this a little bit more real realistic so i'm just going to duplicate this light or you can duplicate it right here just move it a little bit here and i'm going to lightning this part right here something to like this uh maybe a little bit a little bit like this this is good and maybe a little bit lower or higher i'm just trying to figure it out how it looks really good but i think this is really nice and i need this light to be on the other side because the lightning on the reference image is exactly the same on the left side and on the right side. So I'm just going to make this as the duplicate. Click on this and I'm just going to hit this as negative value. Now we got the perfect mirror effect on the light. Okay, so that's our light. And we need to create a few more lightnings for this scene. So I'm again going just to duplicate this and I am going to bring this a little bit down and I am trying to light this bottom part. So click on this and we are going to change a little bit fall off and I'm going for one to make it much more smoother or soft edges and I'm going to maybe something to like this. And something to like something to like this Okay, this is good. And I want this light to get exactly on the other side. So again, we are going to make it the same as before. And now you can see we light this part and this part. And it's really, really nice lighting. So we need a few more lights to finish this lighting section. And I'm again going to duplicate. 
I'm going to bring this a little bit here and if you don't know what this lightning is doing you just bump this up you will exactly know what's going on you see we are going to lightning this button we light this part before and we are going right now lightning this a little bit more so this will be two this will be just the soft light and we need to go a little bit higher oops a little bit right and maybe down no i'm going up okay this is good again i'm going to duplicate this the other side okay that looks really good and i think we need just uh one more light or two more lights so again i'm going to duplicate this and we need lightning here on this area as well so maybe like this okay but i need this a little bit more brighter so something to like this and maybe a little bit more up okay Okay, this is good and we need something like the last light so i'm just going again to duplicate this and this will be maybe maybe up here i'm going to check what is actually going on Okay, so this will be the four. Okay, this will be the 180. And we are going to bring this a little bit down. Okay, I'm going to click on this button to render this HDR in full resolution. We are going to wait. All right, this this is pretty much pretty much good lightning. So I am going to stop this video right now. And this is like the part one when we doing the simple lightning. And in the next video, we are going to create exactly the same materials like this. Or we try to match them as much as possible. So guys, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to support me a little bit more, just click on the subscribe button. And if you got any questions about it, just let me know down in the comment section. And I will try to reply you ASAP so we can start working on more great tutorials like this and if you really generous guys you can go to the patreon website or patreon page and you can support me and as the rewards you will receive this 3d model or you can pledge more and you will be able to actually own fully detailed scene with all the materials all the textures, all the environments, you just open the scene in the key shot and you can just render it. Or if you're the guy who want something else, just let me know. Okay guys, have a nice day and have a nice render. Bye.